Hello everyone. Today we are going to go into a specific type of skin cancer called basal cell carcinoma, how it arises, the science behind it, and what you need to look out for. I hope you enjoy the video. In our last video, we went into detail about the different cells of the epidermis, so if you get confused at any point, please go watch our previous video titled, What is Cancer? This layer is the epidermis. Within the epidermis, there are different cell types. We are going to focus on the basal cells. The basal cells are present in the most bottom layer of the epidermis called the basal layer, just above the basement membrane. Within the epidermis, new cells from the basal layer slowly move up to replace the dead skin cells that fall off the top. So our skin is constantly renewing its cells, but at a controlled pace. These basal cells are responsible for making the new skin cells in normal cases such as skin renewal. But we, these cells are also responsible when we have a wound and need it to heal more quickly. Basal cell carcinoma occurs when the cells of the basal layer begin to divide and grow uncontrollably, giving rise to a tumor. Now let's look at the molecular level of BCC. There are a few key molecules that play a role in basal cell carcinoma. The sonic hedgehog pathway is an important molecular pathway involved in BCC. Sonic hedgehog is a molecule that plays an important role in embryonic development. But in adults, this pathway is important to control cell division. This pathway will tell cells when they need to divide and when they don't. When cells need to divide, sonic hedgehog protein will bind to a receptor called PITCH1, which allows PITCH1 to release another protein inside the cell called SMU. SMU will then promote other signaling molecules that will tell the cells that they need to start dividing. In BCC, this pathway does not work properly and so the cells will continue to divide without regulation and a tumor arises. Individuals who develop mutations in, the, in this pathway when exposed to UV radiation from sun or tanning beds will develop BCC. Now that we know what happens at the molecular level, let's look into what BCC looks like on the skin. In approximately 80% of cases, BCC arises in the head and neck region, whereas 15% on the trunk, arms, and legs, although it has been reported in other regions as well. We are going to look at two types of BCC, nodular BCC and superficial. Nodular BCC is the classic form. It often presents a, sh a shiny or pearly nodule with a smooth surface. It may appear indented or like an open wound that won't seem to heal. Some are soft like a blister with jelly-like contents. Note that some may also contain melanin and appear brown, bluish, or black. Superficial BCC presents as a scaly patch or plaque. It looks like a rash in some cases. It may appear flaky, thin, with a translucent border, or it may appear like there's an open wound in the middle. As seen in nodular BCC, there can also be colorization due to melanin deposits. So what can you do to protect yourself? Try and stay out of the sun as much as possible, especially during peak hours between 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. If you do go out in the sun, try and stay in a shaded area and remember to protect yourself with broad spectrum SPF, sunscreen, and reapply it. Also, try and cover up when exposed to the sun by wearing a hat, sunglasses, long sleeve shirts, and UV protective clothing. Please pass these sun safety tips on to others to help reduce everyone's chance of developing BCC. If you have any other questions, please visit our social media pages and our website. Thanks for tuning in.